In this video, I'll show you three examples on how to do unit conversions involving units raised to a power. The first question reads, calculate the displacement of a 5.70 liter automobile engine in cubic inches. So we've been given the volume of 5.7 and we need to convert that into cubic inches. To do this conversion, we need the following conversion factors. So what I'll do first is convert 5.70 liters into milliliters. Then I will convert the milliliter amount that we found into centimeters cubed and then from there I can use this conversion factor to find cubic inches. Let's get started. So with 5.70 liters I'll multiply this number by this conversion ratio. Now each of these conversion ratios can be written as a fraction. So I can write this as 1 milliliter over 10 to the power of negative 3 liters or 10 to the power of negative 3 liters over 1 milliliter. The version that you want to use is the one that will eliminate the unit that you start with. So if I multiply this by 1 milliliter over 10 to the power of negative 3 liters, the liters will cancel out, leaving me with milliliters. Now remember, my end goal is cubic inches. To get to cubic inches, I need to now convert this number into cubic centimeters. Here's how to do that. I'll multiply this now by one centimeter cubed over one milliliter. Notice what I did here. I rewrote this as a fraction and I put centimeters cubed at the top and milliliters at the bottom. The reason why I did that is because now I can cancel out the milliliters. So far I'm left with centimeters cubed. Now there's not a direct conversion between centimeters cubed to inches cubed. So what I have to do is cube both this side and this side. If you do the following, you end up with the conversion factor for cubic centimeters to cubic inches. Now I'm going to give you a second to think about which version of this fraction we'll use. The one with the centimeters cubed at the top or the one with inches cubed at the top. If you chose the one with inches cubed at the top, you are right. So this part right here, one inch cubed over, and remember this three, we are taking one to the power of three and inches to the power of three. So one to the power of three is one, and inches to the power of three is inches to the power of three. Similarly, three as a power to 2.54 gives us, let's find out, 2.54 to the power of three gives us 16.38 7064. Instead of writing all of this, I'm just going to write down the following. 2.54 to the power of 3 and centimeters to the power of 3. Look, this centimeters to the power of 3 cancels out with this one and the last unit that we have is inches cubed. Let's calculate this. Using our calculator, we have 5.70, it's not visible, 5.70 times 1, there's no need for that, times 1, once again no need for that, times 1. So we end up with 5.70 for the numerators of this fraction, divided by 10 to the power of negative 3, times 1, there's no need to write that in, and 2.54 to the power of 3. 2.54 to the power of 3. This gives us the following, 347.835. Now we're not taking into account significant figures yet, so I'll just write this out, 347.835. Now we started off with three significant figures. Our final answer should also have three significant figures. So anything after the seven is insignificant. The first discarded number, this eight, is greater than five, so this seven will go up by one, giving us 3, 4, 8 inches cubed. Now that we've completed question 1, make sure to watch part 2 for the answers of questions 2 and 3. So there you have it. That is how to calculate conversions when raised to a power.